We have all come to know what an energy crisis is, a shortage of petrol or electricity. Yet we have an abundance of energy. The sun supplies us daily with more energy than we could conceivably use. Before our reserves of fossil fuels become exhausted, it will be necessary for us to change to ways of using this income energy. Which of the ways is most suitable for use in populated areas is the question which needs immediate attention. Brian Hurley, lecturer in physics at the College of Technology, Bolton Street, and member of Low Energy Systems, explains. Our basic problem is not an energy crisis. It's more a difficulty in relation to how to make use out of the available solar energy. And it's, this is where we have to begin shifting our efforts, how to use the, the energy available from the sun. Most of the population lives in urban housing estates and all houses rely on central energy supplies. The greatest user of energy in the home is space heating. The most important factor in conserving our energy within the home is insulation. Although a tedious job, it is well worth the effort. The first place to start is in the attic. Insulating this is not difficult, but needs careful preparation. A vital piece of equipment is a good torch or an extension lamp. Measuring the width between the joists is the next stage. Measure the width so that the fiberglass insulation wool will just fit neatly, as this is important. The width will determine the size of roll you can buy. But if it is an unusual size, you can buy a large roll and cut it to the size you require. If you are lucky enough to have conveniently spaced joists, bring all the rolls up to save yourself the trouble of running up and down the stairs. If you have to buy a large roll and cut it down to size, you will need an ordinary wood saw. It is safer and cleaner to saw through the plastic bag. Roll the fiberglass wool out along the joists. It should rest on the top. Then, where the cross beams are, cut the wool with a garden shears and gently fit it in between the joists, taking care not to press it down too tightly. Make sure that all cables and pipes are kept above the insulating wool. Lagging the pipes and the water tank is also important. With the proper insulation, the attic should be colder and therefore more likely to freeze the water. One of the most uncomfortable and dangerous aspects of the fiberglass wool is the dust. This is extremely irritating to the skin. The best way to minimize the dust is to work slowly and an added safeguard is to wear a face mask. When the job is completed, your attic should look something like this. The job itself can be done over a weekend. <coughs> the next place to seal off against heat loss is doors and windows. Draft stripping can be bought quite cheaply and fitted either with adhesive tape like this or by tacking it on. This is the simplest and quickest way to keep the heat you pay for from disappearing into the back gardens. 